we all dream about catching big fish. But let's be honest, it's hard. And then there's the challenge of filming it. Which makes packing even more of a nightmare. We're going to what could be the best brown trout fishery in the world. This is our story. Deep in the mountains of the western United States, there's a river that holds more brown trout per mile than anywhere else in the world. We knew exactly how this trip was going to play out before we had even left for the river. There was four of us, we had an arsenal of fly rods, the fish were super active, and we had three days to work and learn and figure out exactly what we were doing on the river. We were going to catch hundreds of fish. Or so we thought. Well, it's looking pretty grim right now. We've caught zero fish today. Dude, it sucks. There's no fish, we're freaking newbies. We were blowing the trip and something needed to change fast. We're about to find out if the last three days will have been worth it. Are you kidding me? The tension always seems to build the closer we get to leaving for one of these trips. The planning always starts a few months out, and by the time we've tied our flies, dialed in which rods would make the cut, and have everything packed, all that's left to do is complete the objective. Catch the fish at the place. Hopefully they're big. That's the pattern. This river in particular holds some of the biggest trout I've ever seen in person. We were sitting there packing the night before, and one of us needed to be the voice of reason. So we're supposed to go at 5 a.m. tomorrow, but should we just go right now? Absolutely, dude. Let's get out of here. I'm dead serious. Let's call Logan. <laughs> Would you really be down to drive? No. Come on, dude. So All right, tomorrow, let me see dude. if I can get Logan on my team, then we'll peer pressure you. No way. You just have to ask yourself, how much of a man am I? Don't let him peer pressure you into it. Dude, <laughs> just ask yourself, am I a real man? I don't care. All right, he just said yes. Mike, what would it take? Let's negotiate. When you're 90, dude, are you gonna look back on this day and think, ah, I'm so glad that I didn't go and have fun? <laughs> We're gonna be there by 9 a.m. anyway. We could be there by tonight, you know? We are being level-headed. We're thinking totally reasonably. No, but I do agree with Mike. Like, if he's driving, like, I would probably want to get him No, he said, I don't agree with Mike. If he's driving, we could just drive for you. I'm gonna shut the door. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk you. It was a valiant effort, I'll give it to you. You tried really hard. All right, dude, one more try. Nope, nope. One more try, no, dude. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to encourage that. So, here's the crew. I met Logan a couple of years ago when he moved to Utah from the East Coast. I honestly don't know anyone that spends more time of their lives thinking about fly fishing than Logan Johnson. His East Coast tactics are sometimes kind of weird, but he usually catches the most fish, so maybe I should learn a thing or two. Mikey and I have been getting after it in the mountains together for a long time now. We've technically known each other since fourth grade. All right, Mikey, for your posterity, how do you feel right now, man? I feel alive, dude. Pretty good, probably like a nine dead. <laughs> he picked up fly fishing a couple years back and that's his main gig these days. Camden and I didn't get to meet until after his big Moab accident. Since then, Camden's been less into rocks and more into fly fishing. You really shouldn't feel that bad for him though. The dude will pass anyone on the trail and is the only person I know that's caught a trophy golden trout. And then there's me. My dad taught me to fly fish when I was young. Since then, I've become really good at slowing my friends down while I drag a camera through the mountains, which leads us back to this point, the middle of nowhere, Utah. 150 years ago when there was more bears, probably would've just gotten eaten. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. We're getting relatively close, but uh, this rain we've been dealing with all morning has turned into this slushy snow. And according to the weather report, this is supposed to let up by the time we get there. So I'm worried that the river is just going to be a blizzard. I think you're good, dude. Let's go see. Stupid.
stupid turn. Mike might have just wrecked his truck trying to flip around. Where did where'd you get the truck? It's not terrible. I don't see anything, dude. I feel so bad about Mikey's truck. It, it looks like he uh, looked like he was fighting back some tears. <laughs> we were looking at it, which I don't blame him. That's a that's a piece of his soul that went with him. We have to get him on some fish. I know. We have to get him on some big fish. We decided to swing by the local shop, get some intel, hopefully make the day on the river a little bit more successful. The trailer had jackknifed when Mike was trying to flip around in oncoming traffic. We all had to know, could Mikey redeem himself? You want me to move so you can back the trailer in? That'd be great if I can back the trailer in. Actually, I think what I'll do is back it in like three feet, unhook it, and then push it all the way back in there myself. You guys ready to see some precision? What's the difference between a, a lentil and a chickpea? I've never had a lentil on my face. <laughs> I can't believe I get to witness zipper waders, dude. Shut up. So instead of just pulling them on, you literally unzip and zip up. <laughs> just a little peasant, dude. <laughs> hey, did you, did you bring your peasant waders? Yeah, my Don't frog dogs. <laughs> Look at them, dude. Holy mother. Oh, yes! Yes! <laughs> we had come all this way for something pretty incredible. This section of river holds over 15,000 fish per mile. The craziest part? People consider 18 to 20 inch browns and rainbows to be completely normal around here. It looks like it's got starting to hook jaw, so. Yeah. We stuck our fish cam in, and there are browns lurking everywhere in this river. Logan's on the board, he caught a little fish on a dry. We've been messing around for like an hour, and uh, we pulled this guy out on the streamer. What a cool fish. There he goes! All right, we're on the board, dude. Let's catch a few more. There was just one problem. Seeing a lot of them rise, just can't get them to take my fly. It's been tough. They're rising, but we just can't get them. We probably just suck them. There's about a hundred million fish in this river and we've only managed to find like three of them. The four of us had been fishing for most of the day and two of us hadn't even caught a fish yet. It just wasn't what we were expecting. You guys ready to hike? I'm with Let's you give it one last push, push over there till dark and maybe we can help another fish or two on the board. Yeah, that'd be sick. As we moved down river closer to the cliff line, we ended up finding a hole that we could see massive like fish, 25 inches dragon plus. Dragon. And oh, dude, all we had to do down there. was present well. <laughs> Yep. Pull. Dude, that one is just tucked so deep on the bottom. If you have like a Sculptzilla on or something with a super heavy head, you might get there. 
Is that a rainbow? Yeah. Atta boy, dude. <laughs> Woo! Okay. No stop for me. <laughs> Mikey, you're on the board. On the board. Better than being off the board. Better than being off the board. Pull another one out, dude. Nice, Mikey. <laughs> Come on, dude. Oh. Come on, Mikey. <laughs> the problem is, is you've got just a cliff. <laughs> Get back over here, you big dumb. Yes, sir. Got him. Yeah, he's not bad. That's a good fish, dude. Mike's fish had definitely helped with morale for about 10 minutes until we remembered that between the four of us, we had fished over 36 hours that day with hundreds and hundreds of casts. And so far we had little to nothing to show for it. Well, it's too dark, it's time to call it. We're gonna go back to camp, cook up some delicious dinner, hopefully shake the feeling of being a sad, sad fishless man off and uh, enjoy the rest of the night. got destroyed today. We really caught one on the stream all day, right? Well, we're here in the tent. Had some good grub. I can see my breath. Well, we'll catch some fish tomorrow. Some 30 inch browns. On some eggs. So, here we are, day two. Ideally, this is the part of the trip where the fish decide our flies look like real bugs and our forearms start to get sore from scooping monsters out of the river all day. We had spent the evening before coming up with a new strategy. We were going to walk upriver where hopefully there was less people where the fish would get less pressure and be more willing to eat our flies. I'm just ready to catch some fish. Get on the board? Yeah. <laughs> I can't leave this trip skunked. <laughs> Green will be cursed for me. I don't know what we're going to do different. How those guys do? Oh, dude. He said he caught 12 to 15 by himself yesterday. And then the oh, other guys here with caught 15 or 20. On what? Thanks. Cannon, are, are you hoping to 10x the amount of fish you caught yesterday? Zero, zero, so. <laughs> it's game time. Game time. Tie me in, coach. Nice, dude. What did it take? Hey. He's gonna pop up. It was crazy. So it was difficult to. Like every step that I took, as soon as I lifted my foot off the ground, it felt like the water was just gonna push me away. So and normally, normally I'll feel confident wading, but I don't know this river. I don't know, you know, it looks fine, but. Do you feel like we're kind of trapped on the side of the river with the rest of the village that came here to fish today? Yeah, it's kind of a bummer, you know? We were hoping to get away from everybody else, but instead we just have to keep following the crowds. There you go, dude. That's your ride. No, I think that's a good spot. We've had so many people tell us which nymphs to use, but it's streamer time. Streamer time. That's where I was finding success yesterday, and so far no fish on nymphs today, so it is what it is. We worked our way up through this stunning canyon 
It had promising holes and good riffles all over the place. After we had worked four miles of the river and moved into late afternoon, things started to feel really desperate. Mikey, what's going on, dog? Dude, it sucks. There's no fish, we're freaking newbies. Days like this are so frustrating. So frustrating. This is the second day in a row of just getting our bus handed to us on a platter by the river. We have been sight fishing fish, rotated through the hole. Everyone has casted their fly. We have changed out patterns and these fish just don't want what we've got. And I don't know, I, I just don't know what to do. I, I have no idea. Against the better judgment of the part of our brains that prevent drowning, we eventually found a spot where we could sneak through and finally cross the river. All right, Logie, you're up. With new unpressured water, we were finally able to put a few fish on the board. The fishing has been awful all day long, but we seem to have broken the skunk. We crossed the river and everyone's gotten on fish as far as I know. At this point, all of us are mentally beat down. Rock bottom, at our limit, and with another day in the trip, we couldn't help but think, was it actually worth another minute of our lives to stay at this river? We caught a few fish. Um, Logan, I think. Did you have the only brown? Like we could have gone to the local river that's about 10 feet wide and, and done better. Well, that concludes day two of getting whooped by the river. We're gonna wake up super early tomorrow, probably an hour and a half before the sun comes up. We're gonna march up to a hole we saw a bunch of fish getting caught in and hopefully take it over for ourselves. You know, today we're getting tactical. It's still the time of the day where it's the nighttime and uh, we're trying to make it down to the river before anyone else. But our boots and our waders are just ice blocks. One gold a day, big fish. Well, uh, we're all rigged, we're at our hole. The sun's coming up. We're about to find out if the last three days of learning the river will have been worth it. Ah, yes, sir! Dude, that's a good brown. Hell yeah, dude. On the squirm, too. Yes, sir! There. Hell yeah. Dude! Freaking stoked, dude. Finally. I made it worth it getting up that early. Hell yeah, dude. Dude. No way. Logan's on, I gotta go. Give that sauce, brother. Yes. Oh, yes, sir. Yes. Dude. So what happened, dude? What did it take? Um, egg. And I heard one above me. Uh, splash like he, it's like he was like swimming upstream like yeah, shallow stuff. so I cast it up there um, and it drifted probably four feet before it went under Five, four steps. that's because he's just yeah yours is bigger than mine dude <laughs> jeez wait are you talking about the fish or yeah for sure look at that sucker dude oh, was just damn a jerk. Logan that one's thick dude Logan's fish would eat your fish I think I don't know about that. <laughs> Go. That's actually close. And once things had turned on, it just did not stop. It's a fish fest. Oh yeah. Brother. Oh yeah. Three and three minutes. <laughs> yeah. You guys are tripled. If you wanna, if you wanna bend down, this is what I learned from the new fly fisher for trout. You don't, to, you don't have to put your hand in the water, you can just touch the bottom, to get your hand wet. Oh, there you go. There you go, grab him. Got a little barbless hook. Nice, dude.
There you go. Rosenbauer taught me this. You want to get behind them because then it's easier. Look, oh, bro, he's chubby. Bro, uh, that is a fat fish. <laughs> holy crap. <laughs> That's so sick. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude. Oh my gosh. Look at that. All right, let's get some thoughts with this That's boy. Sick. <laughs> this one's a, I, I don't know, dude. This one's like. Well, <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> Oh yeah, dude. That thing's sick. That's a good fish, dude. It's a great fish. Let's go. <laughs> go oh, dude, that thing is so sick. <laughs> let's measure him. Hell yeah, dude. Double up. Double, let's go. Out of boy. I don't know, actually, I've got it. That's just a good of... fish, dude. Dude, that worm that I tied is freaking killing it. Remember yeah, it's that crushing. one time that I did the red bead? Yeah. It's freaking sick. The fishing was so good that I couldn't keep up with all the action happening in the river. I would sprint to one friend. We would try to capture the fight, the landing, the release. And by the time we had the fish back in the water, Someone else was hooked up, and this process went on for hours. Today we were doing a few things different. We found a water column that was consistently three or four feet deep for around a hundred yards straight. The current in this massive river funneled plenty of food into this section, where the fish could take their time feeding without much work. We found out the key to getting into these fish was to quickly get to the bottom of the river. We ditched our Euro nymphing rods and made sure our flies were paired with plenty of split shot. Oh yes, sir. I saved it. Somebody say no. Oh, camera's on too. You think we can get the quad, dude? The quadruple? That's the new mission. No way, we're three on? I'm way out in front of you. Hold on. Look at that! Woo! Finally, things had turned on for us. At this point, we knew there was the possibility of catching a brown bigger than any other brown we had ever managed to land, a PB. Lucky for us, the opportunity wouldn't present itself. This hole is insane. I think we found the best hole in this entire river. We've been getting railed all trip. We got here this morning, and as soon as it even got a little bit light, light enough to see our indicators, it turned on. We've all had fish on constantly. We've been doubled up a bunch. We've been tripled up a few times. And we're tripled up again. Well, Mike's warm as hell. We're back to doubled up. <laughs> The fish fest continued and almost simultaneously, Camden and Logan got hooked up on big fish. They had both requested net duty, and I don't think any of us actually thought we would see what came out of the river. Logan had foul hooked a decent fish, but Camden had found something stupid big. He's still on that fish. We're never leaving, ever. <laughs> I think we figured out the secret code. Oh my gosh! Oh 
my god! <laughs> oh Look at my that. god! Look at that, dude. He's so freaking big. What a monster! We're doubled up again, but this time it's Camden. Look at that thing, dude. <laughs> Camden <laughs> caught a freak. <laughs> oh my gosh! Dude, do you have your measure? Yeah, okay. <laughs> you just hold it up like you did before? Yeah. A minnow? <laughs> That's a good fish, dude. Oh, baby. What do you have to say, Logie Bear? Goodbye, fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, dude? I can't get enough pictures. I'm sorry. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> What a toad! Sorry, dude. <gasps> what a monster and a half, Look bro. Look at mouth, bro. come here. <laughs> Ohio was catching my PB, brown, 22 inches. What was your previous PB? But, so besides that, personal PB has been probably like 18, 19 inches. Camden wasn't the only one of us to catch his personal best brown that day, but there was an insane amount of fish that came out of the river before we got to that point. guy was picked up by a bird or something at some point and uh, survived the bird attack this guy's seen some this guy's seen some things that's for sure it's a pretty boy yeah it's cool all right man should we let him go free yep. oh dude were living our fly fishing dreams in real time and at the end of the third day logan hooked into a fish that made all four of us drop everything logan's competing with camden for biggest fish of the day right now oh my gosh come on logan Is he gonna let you? He's gone, boy. No! He's gone? Is that what he said? He said he's gone. No way. No. Wait, I'm hoping someone else is gone. Is he still on? No way! Oh. No way, he's still on! This is what I wanted. Yes, 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 yes. Holy. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> that was, my heart was pounding, bro. Look at, he bet this so bad, look at that. One's line was all my egg. I think that might have been mine. 
I think I broke off in there at one point. Did you get that worm back? Is it a, is it a metal worm? Yeah. No way, that's the one I lost. That one was ha that one was hanging on my line, that red worm. Yeah, did, did you, you see it, it sticking out? Did you pull it out of the water? No, I like, oh. he snapped it. He snapped oh, okay. your line in the water. And then it was like pink, and then it's like still on. Dude, when you were like, he's gone, I was freaking because, broken yeah, for you, dude. Yeah, like, I saw a worm down there hanging on my line, and my barber was right there. So I was like, he wrapped around a rock and just boom, gone. And then he went, he pulled one more time, snapped it, and then it was off to the races again. And about what, two minutes ago? Yeah, about two minutes ago. About two minutes ago, just caught my PB at 21. We like to convince ourselves that fly fishing is about us. Can we fish long enough to make it happen? Can we figure out the river? Can we outsmart the big ones at their very own front door? At its core, I think fly fishing is our best effort to experience the most beautiful parts of the world. Stunning landscapes, galaxies of stars, the intricacies of infamous rivers, and every once in a while, the fish that guard the very best riffles. All right, what's the plan, dogs? Once the camera guy gets all of this cleaned up, yeah, let's pan over to that. And we can go and clean up camp before <laughs> the rain clouds come and before it gets dark. We should probably talk to the camera guy, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> We had spent the last 72 hours on just a fraction of this 730 mile long river. Next time, we'd be back for the entire thing. Hey guys, Christian here. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you thought of the film down in the comments. And if you like fly fishing or you enjoy watching fly fishing films, please subscribe. There's a lot more of these coming.